the Hicksian substitution effect is always greater than the Slutsky substitution effect. True or false? Explain. Okay, boys and girls, let's start making our lives easier by summarizing this question. So we've got three, three quickie pointers in this video. Um, it's going to be the Hickson substitution effect, always greater than, and then we've got Slutsky's substitution effect. Okay, I'm just going to very quickly write down my three quickie pointers. And just right at the bottom, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put in that I have to answer whether this is true or false, and I have to explain it. Now, when we talk about the substitution effect, Recall what is the definition of it. I know that I'm going to have to change the price of x. I'm just going to assume that it is going to fall. And this, of course, applies to the Slutsky SE as well. If I want to find the Slutty, I mean the Slutsky SE, I'm also going to have to change the price of x. But I'm going to make sure that I decrease the price so that it will be in line with whatever I'm coming up with for the Hickson SE. Now, take note of the word always. Now, the word always is a very absolute term, right? So, you want to try and prove this absolute statement false, okay? It's going to be much easier than trying to prove that it's true because that you only need one scenario to prove that this statement is false and then you have fully answered the question, okay? So, um, be smart. Just try and find something that's going, to, that's going to prove this statement false. Okay, I want to place a bit of emphasis on the second quickie pointer. When we're comparing SEs, do we have to talk about normal good and inferior good or maybe even given good? Well, the answer is you don't necessarily have to bring these things in. Um, I can show you how in the end we can bring it in to score some extra points, but as of now, let's leave that alone first. Just remember, your substitution effect is your immediate reaction to a change in price. Recall in my lecture video that the SE is a very emotional thing, okay, it responses to price change. He hasn't considered the change in real income as well as his demand for the particular good. So you don't necessarily have to talk about the normal or inferior good. Although, we can always add it in, I think it's going to be a bit more impressive for your answer. Okay, so the SE is determined by the indifference curve, okay? So, let's take a look at how we're going to approach this question. Alright kids, just let me brief you again on how this is going to go. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time. Realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials, and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quicky Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for studying with Quickonomics.